At the annual international press conference, Jung Heinrich showed a wide range of topics from which we can expect more to see this year. Just like last year, the working title was Innovations and Highlights. We asked Chief Sales Officer Christian Erlach what the novelties are about. It's about uh, new solutions, it's about energy solutions, it's about safety, uh, it's about automation, it's about Internet of Things, it's about HEVs. So these were the things we presented today. In concrete terms, this meant, amongst other things, the introduction of a new system for added view, in which the four camera no longer records images analog but digitally. This allows the four camera to read barcodes from both the pallet and the storage location. It saves extra operations and reduces the risk of errors in the warehouse. Another novelty was the introduction of an automatic stacker for lift heights up to 4.4 meters. The AGV ERC 213A is equipped with a new safety scanner and has an extra robust construction. Also new, the built-in charger for the Rich Truck ETV 216i. This allows the truck to be connected directly to a power supply and eliminates the need for a stationary charger. The normal process with a fast external charger still exists. Also renewed are the powerful hydrostatic fork trucks from the VFG range. Both the diesel and LPG trucks comply with the latest emission regulations with their modern Kubota engines. In addition, performance has been increased and consumption reduced. The cabin is more spacious than before and is standard equipped with a panoramic glass roof. However, one of the absolute highlights was the sneak preview of the P30i electric forklift with integrated lithium-ion battery. The truck is based on the new combustion line and beats the outer power level of the IC trucks. Still it handles indoor tasks the same way. The P30i will only be officially launched at the end of next year. The question is of course, why is this taking so long? It's not enough to build a truck. You have to have everything around that it really can work. And that's what we present today. And uh, I think uh, this is uh, yeah, a lot of engineering inside, a lot of uh, deep thinking. And yeah, I think the solution we have is now pretty complete. With the accompanying aspects, Erlach refers, amongst other things, to robust, weatherproof outdoor charger systems, possibly via remote connection, or movable lithium-ion buffer stations to charge the powerful electric trucks independently of the mains. A solution is already available for indoor use, the power booster. Siva Logistics in the Netherlands is one of the first users of the system. It provides the needed peak power when several lithium-ion trucks are charged at the same time but without straining the grid. Thus the arrival of the P30i perhaps also means the end of the IC truck series for Jung Heinrich? Yeah, it looks like that uh, we will stop developing IC trucks. We are already 89% electric and the target is to be 100%. All kinds of things about the almost 100% electric future can be seen at the upcoming Logimat show in Stuttgart. According to you Heinrich, the leading trade fair in Europe. Which also means that the manufacturer will not be present at the Hanover Messe later this spring. What can visitors expect from Jung Heinrich? Uh, we'll also show there the P30i, just as a preview for our customers too. Uh, we'll have an HEV there, of course, again. We'll have a new shuttle that's brand new that we introduced there. We have our VNAs there. So, yeah, will be a great show for one week.